Hi everyone. Today I am going to explain about frequency of AC. About theory part, you will discuss in theory classes. What is meant by frequency? What is meant by AC source? And what is the use of AC source? Here I am directly moving to practical part. This is a meter bridge. This is a meter bridge of length one meter, and this is a string, metallic wire. Okay. It is of a copper wire or steel wire. You may take any one. Okay. This wire has a ends. Okay. One end is connected here. Okay. And is connected to a wire. Okay. For that, we have to keep the mass of a different weight. Okay. Here. This is a mass of half kg. This is mass of half kg. For this mass. we are going to calculate the resonating length and uh, here this is a this is a ac source okay right side that is having the dc output and left side ac source is there and that source is connected to these uh, knobs okay these are the, this is a transformer okay here these are the knobs hmm? these now now helps for measuring the resonating length okay now i will calculate the resonating length for this uh, respective mass okay and this is the resonating length here we are observing the vibrations that you have to calculate measuring the length okay. now it is a uh, 12 cm you can measure the length by using the meter scale or with help of these knobs higher value minus lower value that also gives the resonating length okay. this is the first reading and next for second reading you have to increase the weight in a hanger for second reading again i kept one more coin to the hanger that is uh, shown there now it is a 1 kg mass for this mass we have to calculate the resonating length now i am moving the knobs now it is a resonant length for which we are observing the more sound means more vibrations okay you have to measure the length that shows 19.5 19.5 cm this is the resonant length for mass of 1 kg for another reading again i increase the mass of half kg for that mass now it is a mass of 1.5 kg for that mass i am setting the resonant length this is the resonant length for this uh, mass of 1.5 kg this is the measure here so the 44.5 kg in the same way we have to increase the mass again and again by putting the slots of half kg and how you go goes on increasing the weight with respect to that length will be increased after that we have to take the square of the length okay then you have to plot the graph that uh, i will show in the readings 
here this is the formula frequency of AC alternating current f equal to 1 by 4 into root of small m into slope okay. where small m is the mass per unit length of the wire or string okay and slope means that we obtain from graph okay. and here this is a diagram okay sonometer is there this is the sonometer and this is magnet okay this is a certain mass hang to the string okay this is sonometer of length one meter and this is the graph okay here we have to plot the graph tension versus length square here the tension is in x axis which is taken in newton okay and l square l means length that is taken in meter square okay a b c this is the slope a b by b c this you have to calculate by using your readings and here this is the procedure and okay here mass per unit length of the wire m equal to small m equal to 0 0.00126 kg per meter this is a given value and acceleration due to gravity small j equal to 9.8 meter per second square and this is a tabular column okay in which you have to tabulate the your readings okay here uh, trials are there mass attached to the string okay in kg 0 0.5 kg okay 1 kg 1.5 kg 2 kg for each reading you have to increase the half kg weight okay and this is next column is tension capital m into g capital m means this mass okay and uh, g means acceleration due to gravity 9.8 okay that you have to multiply that becomes here 4.9 and resonating length l in a meter for this particular mass of 0 0.5 kg we are observing the resonating length means when the string get vibrations that length is called as resonating length that length can be measured by meter scale Okay. here the length is 0 0.26 okay squaring that value that gives 0 0.676 okay next in the same way next for second reading you have to increase the half kg again that becomes 1 kg 1 into 9.8 9.8 for that mass the resonating length is 0 0.36 centimeter converted into meter that becomes 0 0.36 meter squaring that value we will get 0 0.1296 in the same way you have to calculate 5 to 6 readings okay then this is a calculation of tension okay that is t equal to m into g sorry capital m into g where capital m is the mass okay tension calculation for uh, different trials next this is a graph here you are observing that in x axis directly you take a for tension values 4.9 9.8 14.7 like that why because these are the equal intervals are there that's why directly take those values only and in uh, y axis 0 0.05 scale it is 0 0.05 0 0.10 0 0.15 okay like that you have to take the scale range and these are points drawn for your uh, respective readings okay then slope a b c is there okay after that okay using the slope value in a frequency formula f equal to 1 by 4 into small m mass per unit length 
जीरो पॉइंट डबल जीरो वन टू सिक्स इंटू स्लोप जीरो पॉइंट जीरो टू फाइव स्लोप इज ऑप्ट बाय ए बी बाय बी सी अगेन सिंप्लीफाइंग यू विल गेट दिस वैल्यू वन बाय फोर इंटू जीरो पॉइंट डबल जीरो फाइव एट दैट बिकम्स वन बाय जीरो पॉइंट जीरो टू दैट बिकम्स एफ इक्वल टू फिफ्टी हर्ट दिस इज द फ्रिक्वेंसी ऑफ ए सी सोर्स एंड दिस सेम वैल्यू कैन बी रिटर्न इन द रिजल्ट सेक्शन दैट इज द फ्रिक्वेंसी ऑफ अल्टरनेटिंग करेंट एफ इज फिफ्टी हर्ट्स ओके फिफ्टी हर्ट्स इज देयर दिस इज द एग्जैक्ट वैल्यू लाइक दैट यू हैव टू डू द कैलकुलेशन पार्ट ओके थैंक यू